Uh, g'day, it's me again, uh, just giving you a little update on Simple Lifter. So if you haven't heard already, uh, Simple Lifter is a web-based, like a web browser-based powerlifting competition management system. So I've developed this tool uh, to address issues that I found in programs such as Next Lifter and Open Lifter. It has a lot more features, uh, it allows you to do more things. And originally it started as just a set of fancy lights, uh, but being able to do that without any custom hardware like remote controls. Um, so just yeah, a mobile phone and a smart TV or a computer. And from there we've added some timers, uh, competition spreadsheet and live stream management software all built in and all networked and, and talking to each other. Essentially it's designed for online only. Now this isn't really a problem because you know everything's got Wi-Fi or hotspots or whatever it is these days, but the benefit is that there is no bespoke hardware required. The referees don't need a remote control, they just use a mobile phone. You can use any computer and uh, a tablet even to, uh, to run the competition management software um, and the display is the same thing, you know, a smart TV, a laptop, a computer, things like that. What are some of the features of Simple Lifter and, and why would I use Simple Lifter and not uh, the stuff that's already out there? So we've got lights and timers built in. We've got a web-based competition management spreadsheet uh, such as Next Lifter and Open Lifter. Uh, we can do bulk data entry so we can manage multiple competitions or multiple sessions or multiple platforms all at the same time. Uh, we've got a built-in plates display which will show what is currently uh, loaded on the bar or should be currently loaded on the bar as well as what is next including rack heights, lifter information uh, and multiple versions of the, that display as well. We've got live scoreboards for online use so say you want to share the, the current platform uh, scoreboard you know how everyone's going you can do that live through a web link uh, but also you can use that same information for the warm-up area or the, the marshalling area whatever you want to call it to enable lifters to see exactly when they're up. Uh, instant results generation based on your gender, uh, classic equipped, single ply, multi ply, wraps, uh, etc., as well as bench press or single lift, two lift, three lift competition. Uh, it, it'll filter all of that, it'll generate first, second, and third places without any intervention required. It does not need extra hardware, so besides you know computers or tablets or mobile phones, nothing else is required. Um, and some of the stuff that I'm most proud of is the the live stream overlays. So all of this, because it's all networked together, it all talks to each other. It makes it very simple for a live stream computer to add a uh, a new overlay which displays all of the appropriate information for each lifter with minimal intervention so the key behind a lot of this simple lifter stuff minimal intervention minimal uh, volunteer effort required to facilitate a great competition and live or live stream experience the screen that you can see here is uh, an example of the simple lifter screen as you can see, it's quite clean. It shows you what it needs to and nothing else. So most of the smarts are buried away in the background where you don't need to touch it. What I'm going to do, we'll start off with this screen and, and just show you some of the features of Simple Lifter. So firstly, you can see the main uh, lifting page. It shows it in spreadsheet type form like you'd see on, on Next Lifter. At any point in the competition, you can make changes. So you can change the birth year, team name, lifter name, groups and lot numbers. You can change attempts. Um, it's all you know, designed to prevent errors, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it means that you can just get in and quickly tweak something without uh, interfering with the running of the competition. It also shows all of the flights. So as you can see, We've got Group A and Group B, and it's not just showing the currently active flights. So the Group B mob know when they're going to be uh, lifting, what, what their uh, lifting order is. So let's say we've put all this information in. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And you're on the tech desk. You've got three real things that you need to do. You need to press good lift, no lift, or, well, and rather, uh, input the lifter's next attempt. Now, I've pre-filled this with a bunch of nonsense numbers. 
and uh, and we'll do that to demonstrate how simple simple lifter can be for the tech desk once you've got all that information so we're on group a squat one start of the competition it's already sorted uh, the referee calls bar loaded the tech desk can press it they don't have to um, it might be done by the referee or by someone else but call bar loaded and the timer commences the lifter completes their attempt the referees input their um, assessment of the, the lift the timer will automatically clear and be replaced by the lights if you're running it like that otherwise you can clear the timer and let's say it's a good lift cool straight on to the next person bang straight on to the next person and so on now as you can see at the end of the first round we go back for second attempts and third attempts and then at the end of group a we'll switch straight across to group b to do their squad attempts so let's run through these aha and an error has popped up i have entered in a number that is less than the previous attempt so we've gone from 160 to 120 not something that you can do in powerlifting so it's flagged that let's fix that now obviously that would happen whilst you're inputting the data but because i've pre-filled it uh, to save time that's why it's coming up now so let's continue and at the end of the squat round straight across to bench press so again good lift no lift and inputting in the lifters next attempts it's all you need to worry about very very simple so let's run through all of these and let's assume everyone's had a great time also plenty of room for you know people uh, doing some big numbers um, yep keep clicking through keep clicking through onto bench three and now straight to deadlifts same thing good lift no lift input the lifters information as you can see too when you click it the next field is already highlighted ready for the tech desk we're up to the very last lifter you can see that the ipf points are automatically calculated each time so are the best squat bench press subtotal deadlift and the total um, the reason that these two are zero i'll get to that in a second best thing about simple lifter though at the conclusion of the final deadlift the results are automatically displayed here um, all of the different categories weight classes classic equipped if they're competing in powerlifting uh, like three lift two lift single lift competition and their age group uh, they're all filtered together it downloads it straight to excel as well which makes it very easy for record keeping so let's say that i did not actually get my second bench press attempt instead of clicking through all of these things and trying to change the lifting order which is not something that you're expected to ever do double click on it double clicking will change it from red of oh, green to red to white you know white meaning has not yet been attempted um, and that saves so much time so say you're halfway through the second round of squats on group b and then someone said oh actually you made a mistake on group a well you're not going to change any of this because that is the current lifter and they're about to do their thing just double click change numbers and uh and you're good to go it's, it's really that simple now the reason why these two have got zero ipf points is we've entered a custom division male classic and we've written dl for deadlift only i could write anything i want in there and if it's recognized for ipf points reasons then it'll provide ipf points otherwise it'll just use it as a different category to sort the information out so i could change that to special olympics i could change that to uh, push pull run the results again and you can see now um, it's automatically sorted everything by uh, by those new categories also notice we've got someone here competing an equipped bench press has registered squat and deadlift attempts but it's only calculated the bench press ipf points so uh very very handy to get started with a new competition load up the uh Compet of the future uh home page and this shows all of the options that we've got i'll talk through all of these as well so anyway it's designed for a mobile phone so the interface is a little bit funny um let's just make a new competition now uh 
I'll set it to today and today and the access code will be ABC so don't worry about email address because it's me hit submit here we go start and comp ABC now if I go back not how I would do it my new competition demo there we go has already been registered on the system and I'm good to go to start using uh, using that information so I've created a competition and I want to get my information into simple lifter I could just load up the application and do it all manually through the web interface however a lot of people have said they want to run it through Excel because it makes it a lot easier for bulk data entry say you're running uh, multiple sessions multiple platforms multiple days you're going to want to set them up as individual competitions on simple lifter or you may want to add them all at the same time using this bulk uh, data uploading tool so first thing you do click on that load comps button which will pull all of the competition information from the website come across to comps and we can see demo has been added with my access code ABC so you have to put in the access code otherwise it will not update any of these or oh, sorry to ensure it will not update any of those comps and if you get the access code wrong it will not work so this tool does a bulk data upload it will overwrite everything that you already have saved so in this case we need to make sure that that doesn't happen um, once we've added that information we just start filling in the oh, filling in the spreadsheet so demo is my new comp the lot number now for the lot number if I select this random range and click randomize range it will generate numbers from 1 to 8 for me without having to uh, to do anything else uh, first name and surname or depending on how your uh, your you know Google Sheets say you're using Google Forms to sign up for a comp you might just paste the full name into there that's fine team date of birth division let's make everybody powerlifting only but again you can put in whatever you want so if you want to filter by single ply multiply you can get rid of EQ and make SPMP however for IPF points sorry it needs to be in uh, those particular formats gender age is calculated based on the year and it doesn't matter anymore because uh, again for IPF the age or your, your age group is from the 1st of January of that year now all of this stuff here body weight squat rack and your opening attempts that is not required that is only there if you want to do the weigh in through this bulk upload tool as well which is an option a couple of other things that we can do though is get open powerlifting data which will pull all of the lifters information based on their first and surname here from openpowerlifting.org not openipf.org and it will spit it out into this second spreadsheet now the reason it's done like this is so you can get in here and make changes if you really want to um, and say you know you've got uh, issues with you know spelling or something like that you can just change the lifters name by editing that tab or editing that cell rather and then once you're happy double click and it'll pull it again from open powerlifting and sort that out so once that's done upload all of that information to the server and uh, you're pretty much good to go the last thing you need to do is click on upload comp data which will set up your competition so you're good to go okay so we've loaded our simple lifter information from the Excel spreadsheet into the server. We've logged onto the server and I've got a few things going with some random comp footage here in the background. And uh, yeah, all of the information is displayed uh, on the, the spreadsheet that we can see, but you also get a pop-up, which is the platform display. So the platform crew can see exactly what's going on, um, but it does not have to be on the same computer. So if you have, uh, uh, you know multiple computers or smart TVs you can run the platform display on a separate computer uh, which is connected into the uh, the server just like everything else 
So let's just put that one back down there. And um, we've also got the, the referee option up here. So say you've got the, the center referee. Um, you can see that it's logged on to the, the demo com. That's what we've called it. And uh, the options that the referee has. So what I wanted to do was show you how it all talks together, ignoring the lifting video in the background. So uh, we've loaded the information. We've got our openers. We've got 150 kilos on the bar. And uh, the center referee calls bars loaded. They do that by pressing and holding the button and the timer start. The center referee then will choose their option, say it's a good lift, press and hold the good lift button, uh, and then the left and right referees need to do the same. So let's just pretend quickly that I'm the left and right referees. There we go. So the platform display, the referee mobile phone will all show the, uh, the results. The platform display uh, will not change automatically. Uh, the spreadsheet will not change automatically until the tech desk press could lift. And then it'll update. We've got the one minute timer for uh, Renee to input her second attempt and the computer spreadsheet is sitting here waiting for that to occur. So let's just 170 kilos. And there we go. So we're on to the next lifter. We've got all of the, uh, the information being displayed as required. Center referee calls bars loaded once again. And off we go. So the timer starts, the lights are displayed as an example of what happens. Uh, let's, in real time, let's make, you know, all of these options. Okay, if the tech desk now press good lift, nothing is going to update until the lights have cleared. So they're the main features. There's a couple of other things that we can do though, which are really quite handy. We also have the option to display a scoreboard for a live stream. And this one's been custom formatted in OBS, but it is the same spreadsheet that you can use uh, for the, the warm up area or the waiting area. So the lifters know the run sheet. Again, this one has been customized, so it, it doesn't quite work as, as that would. It doesn't show the, the running order. Um, Otherwise, you could do a, a screen grab or a uh, screen duplication or an HDMI splitter to show the lifting information for the warm-up area. And the other option that we have is a uh, live stream overlay based on all of the information that we've got. So here we've got Chris Ross, who's currently uh, fighting for third place. And uh, when we load up the new lifter, that information will come and go. But then when the center referee presses bar load and the lifter walks out, the timer commences, but also this overlay comes up saying, Chris is attempting 200 kilos. What his weight class is, the first, second, and third squat attempts. The lights and timers will be mirrored as well for the overlay. Once the lights are cleared, that central overlay disappears. And then if you get a new lifter coming out, once uh, the, the competition spreadsheet is updated, this will automatically appear. So again, all of the information, all in a very handy spot and enough time for the lifter or for the viewer to, uh, to see the information before, um, before the lifter walks out onto the platform. There's, uh, you know, there's where we're at with, uh, with simple lifter and some of the features and the things that we can do with it. I can make as many changes as uh, as required. You know, if someone comes up with a cool idea, let me know. Be happy to do it. I'm going to be putting it on GitHub as soon as I work out how. Uh, and you know, there's always little bugs and things that we need to uh, need to sort out. So, if if you want to give it a go, um, have a look at the uh, the website. Uh, you know, I'll put the, the links and everything and some better instructions below. Uh, if you want to talk to me, yeah, reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, Comp of the Future is the Instagram page. And um, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to give it a go, feel free. Uh, if you want to trial it, just get in there, you know, use a test competition, make your own competition. I don't particularly care. Um, have some fun with it. Let me know how you go. And uh, yeah, cheers.